Hi, I'm Sanju, originally from Nepal, and currently I'm working as a software developer in TableCheck. We're currently in Marunochi, and I picked this area because it's just fancy, I guess. I came here with my friends last week. It was all very Christmassy. Before coming to Japan, I was in the US. I was studying electrical engineering, and after I finished my associates, I came to Japan, and here I started learning Japanese, and I started looking for jobs as well, but there weren't much opportunities for me, and then I sort of started to think maybe I needed a career change. So I stumbled up in a YouTube video, I don't remember which one, and then that's how I came to find out about Code Chrysalis, and that's how my software engineering journey started. First, I started the foundations. I had a talk with one of the staff from CC, and then she was very nice. She explained how the course would go and stuff like that. So I started foundations, and then I had to give an exam to get into the immersive. And so yeah, I did study by myself as well. When I started immersive, you kind of learn new things every day. I was kind of very scared as to what the result, the outcome would be, because I kept doubting myself, but then when we were put in groups and then we started doing the projects together, then I thought, oh, like, my friends are struggling like me, I guess. And then I just had that courage and then the support. Now that I look back at it, I think I really appreciate the curriculum in a sense that you get to learn the front end and back end. So it's a full stack course. And even if I'm doing front end right now, I still have an idea of what goes in the back end stuff. I think it is very diverse, I guess, even in my cohort. So you had people from the Philippines, from the US, from Nepal. So it is very diverse. And then it's all kind of this creative people coming together and like you're working with different ideas. I just think that's very um, inclusive and also very fun. If I were to go back, the first thing I would tell myself try to ask as many questions as possible. And sometimes we think like if we ask too many questions, we'll sound stupid and stuff like that, but it's, it's not that. Even people that are very experienced, they still tend to reach out to people. So I would definitely ask more questions. And I think you have to build up a habit because even if you start coding and then you stop for like a certain amount of time, you are gonna forget. So you have to be very consistent and start doing more projects. I do feel transformed because now that I'm working as a software developer, I feel that the time and money that I spent while I was in the US studying electrical engineering is not gone to waste because I still can use that knowledge and use it in my career right now. And I think with CC, I got to meet new people, experience new things, and I'm still in touch with the friends that I made in CC. So like career-wise and also like socially, it helped me a lot, yeah.